in church how are we doing this morning can you just turn to the person beside you and welcome them to church psalms 150 verse 1 says praise you the lord praise him in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power are we in his sanctuary this morning are we in the presence of the lord can you just take one minute to give him praise and to just call him sweet names you can render a sound of worship to him you can call him names at authority I don't hear you calling him names. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, the one who answers what we call. Hallelujah. So this morning is our prophetic prayer and praise service. And I want to enjoin us to have our hearts ready. I know our hearts are ready to receive. And guess what? God has already blessed you greatly. And so this morning, you're going to manifest all of his blessings. And every word that he has promised you will be made manifest this morning in his presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to church. Worship you. We worship 
scripture that God will give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. It's such a wonderful and beautiful experience each time we come to your presence. Our Lord and our God, we know you are here. We also know that your purpose of being here is to do us good. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Okay, can you just say good morning, welcome to church to one of two people, and tell them that it's nice seeing them. If you are like me, if you are like me, you can also tell them they are lucky to sit next to you. I think when somebody sits next to me, is very lucky. I, I always suspect that one of these days, you will need to fill a form to see me. Praise the Lord. Please take your seats like kings and queens, children of the most high God that you are. I want to welcome you once again to the presence of the Lord. I want to welcome you to another praise and prayer service. You will wonder, why do we do praise and prayer service? I once read the program in a church in Yoruba, and they wrote in there, instead of worship and praise, they said, only there are yeah. And that sends me thinking, when we want to entertain ourselves, we know where to go. Trust me. But when we come here to worship God, we mean business. So each Sunday that you come to the presence of the Most High God like this, and we say today is praise and worship, prophetic praise, prophetic prayers, is because we mean every bit of that. I'll be talking to you about praise changes everything. Friends, you can pray a means. Especially when you are not praying according to the will of God. You are praying a means. But you hardly can praise a means. Prayer is wonderful. Praise is probably the best. Worship and praise is the purest form of prayer because it focuses our minds and souls entirely away from ourselves and focus on the master. That's where the difference is. When you pray, most times we get consumed with the issues of life. But when we worship and praise the Lord, it focuses our mind directly onto God. It's about exalting God for who he is. It's communicating our longing for him. It's drawing close to him for the sake of being close. We are not worshiping God to impress. No. But we are worshiping him because of who he is. Praise the Lord. Let me show you something. I will start from Psalms 22 verse 3. I have limited time, so I can only share four points as to why praise is so important. And I'm sure the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Psalm 22, but you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Another version, which I always prefer, says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. What this means is that when we praise God, his presence comes down. Worship leaders, may the Lord bless you. You will not lose your reward in Jesus' name. The kind of worship we have in TSF is such that it draws the presence of the Lord. And that's what that scripture is saying. We are not serving a God that is aloof that is unconcerned, that when we come to his presence, we are not sure whether he's here or not. We are not sure what he feels. But we know that when we worship him, according to the scriptures, 
He inhabits our places and our worship. That's why it's so important. That's why, permit me to use the word criminal. It is a criminal offense not to take the praise and worship serious. Because things happen when we worship God. His presence is drawn close when we worship him. Psalms 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Friends, have you experienced waking up in the middle of the night and one of those wonderful worship songs come into your mind? Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, mighty are your me. Miracles we stand in awe of your holy name. As we bow and worship you. When you talk about the awesomeness of God, thank you. God bless you. How dare you refer to that as only in that area? It's not about us anymore. It's about the master. Another reason why we must always worship him is that you become what you worship. Consistent worship of the master makes you become more like him. We don't need to preach to you if you have the spirit of God on your inside to worship him. Let me show you something quickly. Psalm 115 verses 4 to 8. You see, in our generation as Christians, I know you are not worshipping Oshun Obatala and Anogun, but look at what the Bible says. It said, but their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Friends, what occupies your mind the most is what you are worshipping. You see, nature does not allow a vacuum. That's the truth about life. Nature, that my mind is blank. Usually your mind is not blank. It's just that whatever is there, you don't want us to know, which we can guess. But whatever it is that occupies your mind the most is what you are worshipping. I can suggest position. May you not have a position that will take the place of God. <laughs> if, 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 if you have ever had a friend who was very nice and close to you until he got a big position, when he walks into the office and everybody say, good morning, sir. Everybody, good morning, sir. My friend stood in front of the elevator. Everybody, nobody entered with him because for his current position, it occupies people's mind. And you will notice the way it now reacts to you. <laughs> Friends, what are you worshipping? If it is apart from God, there is a danger. I need you, I need to call your attention to it this morning. Sometimes you worship money without knowing it, especially for those the Lord has blessed. I won't give examples over that. The more we worship God, the more we become like him. So, it is necessary and very important to worship God. So, when we want to worship God here, it is serious business. We are not here to joke. And it is not ere idaraya or ore idaraya. If you need an ore idaraya, 
Why do we eulogize God? Somebody asked. He said, why is it that all the time we have to say, oh, you are a good God, you are a brave God, you are a wonderful God. He said he doesn't like the kind of God that he has to cajole. I laughed. I said, you are not cajoling God. God knows his status without you telling him. <laughs> you don't have to remind him he's the creator of the heavens and the earth. The Lord knows. But you need to be reminded regularly that this God I'm dealing with is more than capable of solving my current problems, including the future ones. That's why regularly when you come to the presence of the Lord, you have to keep telling him, who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, Because of my time, so that the resident pastor doesn't cast me out. That is our God, ladies and gentlemen. We are eulogizing him, we are telling him who he is, not for his benefit, but for our own benefit. I also need to leak a secret to you. There are specific blessings, certain blessings that are meant for you, and the only avenue. To receive them is by humble worship. Listen, friends. Before you go to God to tell him your problems, you think he doesn't know? He does. We spend too much time, Father, that my son, Father, this contract. Leave them for a change. Let's leave them for a change. Let's worship the king of kings. Let's worship the I am that I am. Let's tell him that we know who he is. And that's why we are here. I didn't come on a Sunday morning for a daraya. I came to worship the most high God. Praise the Lord. For time, the last one I'll be able to tell you is that praise is your line of defense. You won't understand. Second Chronicles 20. 20 to 25, those five verses, there is no time I read them that I don't stop. I just find myself stopping. If you can put it up, I don't want to read it here. Kia mi. Kia kia ke ubale yini uruko jesu. No, I'm talking to the organizing now. Please put it up. Okay. Second Chronicles 20, 20 to 25. The story you know, three kings came to attack Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat has to rely on God for the strategy to beat them. Let me even tell you one more thing about that. Some people came to the king. They said, look, oh king, a multitude of people have come to attack you. Except you are not human, you will be afraid. So Jehoshaphat now called a fast. He assembled all the people, all the people of Judah, and said, we need to address this together. When last did you call all the people in your home to say this thing, it's only in film that you see Rambo kill them all and come back alone. In real life situation, one man doesn't kill an army. Oh. That's why it is called an army. So one man cannot kill them. So Jehoshaphat knew he cannot win alone. So he assembled the people. And the Lord spoke to him what to do. If I were Jehoshaphat, I would still be afraid to implement the strategy as dictated by God. God said, look, you don't need to fight. You won't need to fight in this battle because the battle is mine. The battle of your life 
will be God's in the name of Jesus. No, that's not the right prayer. The battle of your life is turned over to God from now in the name of Jesus. You don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you have struggled and fought on your own. From today, the Lord is going to fight on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So what did Jehoshaphat do? Oh yeah, put it up again. I saw you put it up. Good. And when he had... Cons so they rose early in the morning and went into... So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord. And who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, please repeat after me, praise the Lord. Next verse. They, they didn't shoot guns. They didn't carry artillery. Now they began to sing and to praise. The Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon. Moab, Monsieur, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. The Lord would defeat your enemies in Jesus' name. For the people of Ammon, Moab, stood against the inhabitants of Monsieur to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Let me paint the picture. Three people came, three kings came to fight Judah. And when they got there, instead of fighting Judah, the Lord laid ambush against them. And at the end of the day, they started fighting themselves. They started fighting. I pray for you by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will need not to fight anymore. The Lord will fight on your behalf. You know what they did? Stand up on your feet. Scripture says, as they were. No, 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 no. Maybe you didn't read that verse. As they were complaining. As they were murmuring. As they were doing what? Olorun to lagbara o. Can we worship him? Worship him. Praise his name. Do it in your language. Let him know you know that he is God. start like this. If you have not been joining the daily prayers that we are doing, that we are that is going on every day, um, I'm asked to tell you that you are missing out. Because we have prayed and therefore we are here to receive this money. I expected an amen. amen. Because we have prayed, we are here to receive this money. Amen. I'm going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 49. Chapter 49, verse 24. We all know the scriptures. Can the plunder be taken from the warrior? Or captives be rescued from the fihas? But this is what the Lord says. Yes, the captive will be taken from the warriors. And plunders retrieved from the fihas. I will contend with those who contend with you. And you and ch your children I will save. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh. They will be drunk on their own blood as with wine, then all mankind will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. This is what the Lord showed me early this morning. I saw a group of people that were like, they were in prison. And when I, I, I thought about it, the interpretation God gave me is that 
there are some of us, whether you are doing well or you are not doing well, you have, you have, you have, you have stayed enough where you are. You are supposed to move ahead. There are some people here, you are supposed to move into international connections, but you are, you are just still rambazing around. You are just still praying around. There are some people, there are four categories actually. There are some people that are bound by physical boundaries. There are some people that are bound by time. There are some people that are bound by association. And there are some people, unfortunately, they are bound by their mind. I know we are supposed to be praying, but I want us to pray with understanding. And Daddy has, has laid a very good foundation that we are going to praise to get into what God has for us. So, because of these four things, we are, we, are, we are limited. A lot of us are limited. We are not where we are supposed to be. And God is set to take us into where we are going. And God is set. God said, this is your Kairos time. Those of us that need physical expansion, those of us that are bounded physically, those of us that are limited physically, God said he's taking you out. Those of us that your mind cannot even carry what God is saying. You, you, you see, they say dream big, but your mind cannot carry billions of naira. You are, what you are seeing is that everything is expensive. What you are seeing is that there is inflation. God is saying that he's taking you out of that mindset. God is going to, what God will do is that God will give you the knowledge. The knowledge that will make you to know that you are above. That you are more than that particular situation. I want us to begin to pray. I don't, you know where you are. You know your own category. That's why I, I explained. That's why Daddy has given us a good background. I want you to go into prayer and tell God, God, this is where I am. I'm moving to where I'm supposed to be. I'm moving to where I'm supposed to be. There are men here. You are just looking. You are struggling. But God is taking you. God is taking you to where your mind cannot take. Where your mind cannot even imagine. Where your mind cannot imagine. You are here. You are still struggling to talk to one person. You will be standing in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Speaking to them. Telling them what to do. Canceling them, consulting for firms, for nations. God is taking people above and beyond. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. Those people that are kings, there are some people, it is their family, it is their foundation that is bringing that limitation to their life. Their foundation is what is fighting them. But God said he's bringing you out. God said he's bringing you out. You are getting out of it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He placked da 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 Every wrong association, God is taking you out of them. Every wrong association, you are with people that are having low mindset. Their mindset cannot take where God is taking you to. God is taking you out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell God, I move to where I'm supposed to be. I enter into where I'm supposed to be. Yes, you are making millions. God said you are supposed to move. In this next quarter, God said you are supposed to move to billions. God said you are supposed to move into new associations. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yekalabalaya. Now, in the name of Jesus. 
Jikelebre sote. It is time. It is time. It is time. Say the Lord of hosts. It is time. It is time. Some people don't have the strength. Receive strength now. Some people do not have the strength. The strength for that next level. That's why you are still where you are. Receive strength now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive strength now. Receive the strength of God to move ahead. To move on, to move on, to move on. Even you, even you, that you are thinking you have done a lot, God said there is still more to be done. So pele de kutia numana. As bread the hand nova setia. Yes, Lord, there is deliverance. 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 By the end of God. In the name of the Lebni Nusa Taya. Kribe se telu redusa. La veli me nianda. Li crossotoya. Yes, yes, yes. Lebreniande. Now, now, now. Lindo te coria. Yadusa. Lebrata yada. E kadeande. Nizotori. Nadi badu se telia. Kadima nindia. La brusa tu di gandelia. Paya. Yandu sataida. Yes, 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 yes. Between now, between now, between now, between now, and the next quarter. Between now and the next quarter. Between now and the next quarter. We give you glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's remain in that attitude of worship as I read Isaiah chapter 61, verse 2 and 3. It says, I am sent to announce a new season of Yahweh's grace and a time of God's recompense on his enemies to comfort all who are in sorrow, to strengthen those crushed by despair who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful bouquet in the place of ashes, the oil of bliss instead of tears, and the mantle of joyous praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. Because of this, they will be known as the mighty oaks of righteousness, planted by Yahweh as a living display of His glory. Hallelujah!
Did you know? 
Nobody can take him away from that sin. The throne of mercy, the throne of grace, the throne of glory. Oh, I worship you, Lamb of God. And I bear on me unto sufficient of yourself who told you that you can run this race by yourself who told you that everything you have was by your power who lied to you who lied to us that everything we have was by our power it was by our might for who makes you differ from another what is it that you have that you have not received if truly that you have received from God why do you boast do you want to tell God today that father I am insufficient do you want to tell God father of myself I am insufficient do you want to live flat it's all about God it's all about God it's all about God I don't need to cajole you. I don't need to shout. I don't need to tell you to lay down before God and tell him, Father of myself, I am insufficient. What makes me differ from the dead? What makes me differ from the people in the street? Ah, who told you who lied to us? Who lied to us, church? Help me, Lord! 
into the house of Abinadab on the hill and consecrated Eliezer, his son, to keep the ark of the Lord. Verse 2. Verse 2. So it was that the ark remained in Kejah Jerem a long time. It was there for 20 years. This only happened because the children of Israel left God to worship an unknown God, to worship Baal. Now, when Samuel wanted to act, there is an understanding that, yes, as a prophet, as a priest over, over them, I can't do this. I am, I am insufficient of myself. So, first off is that the children of Israel needed to give away, to lay aside all of the gods they've held on to. That is the only way God can redeem them. Now, so, there was now an agreement. Samuel would do his part, and the children of Israel would do their part. So that is the same thing in the household of God today. The pastors, the prophets, everyone will do their part. Then we as members, we have a part. What is our part? Our part is to lay aside all of those strange gods that we have held on to. Let's go to verse 8. Mm. Okay, before verse 8, let's go to verse 4. Let's go to verse 4. Let's see what happened there. So the children of Israel put away the vows. Now they fulfill their part and the asteroids, and serve the Lord only. Now, let's go and look at what they now did in verse 8. 
Go to verse 8. So now they fulfilled their part. They now called. So the children of Israel said to Samuel, we have done our part from your own part now, which are the pastors, the prophets. Do not cease to cry to the Lord our God for us. Why? Because they have fulfilled their part. So the agreement is you do your part, I do my part. So they now reminded him and said, do not cease to cry out to the Lord our God for us, that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. Now look at what happened. Verse 9. So they've done their part now. Samuel do this part. And he said, and Samuel took a suckling lamp and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel. And the Lord answered. Verse 10. Verse 10. Now as Samuel was still offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near. They drew near to the battle against Israel. But the Lord did what? But the Lord did what? The Lord turned out with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day and so confused them that they were overcome. So today, today, while we are praying on our own, let's tell God, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I've held on to so many strange gods. I, I've held on to the car I just acquired. I have held on to the house. Father, help me. Father, help me. So that the work will be easy. Help me, Lord. 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 Help me, Jesus. More than my mouth can testify. More than my mind can comprehend I see the wonders of your grace I'm so sure that this is not the end Oh, oh, oh.
all the things, all the things that Eze Bube has done for you, that Allah Ralakbar has done for you, that the El Shaddai has done for you. Think about it. Think about it. And thank Him for them. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise.
before the land of God and sing and all the saints and angels they bow before your throne and all the There are crowns before the land of God and sing your worthy of it all. Jesus, you're worthy. Yes, you're worthy. You're worthy of it all. Malibado Shendavala Diketosaya. For from you are all things and to you. Yes, you deserve the glory. One more time. You're worthy. He's worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. To receive glory. To receive honor. He's worthy of it all. Yes, you're worthy, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. oh from you are all things. And to you are all We're reading Revelations 1 from verse 5 to 6. It says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory, dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, this scripture actually tells us that as a result of Jesus' death, we are what? Kings and priests. But I want to read Leviticus 6.9. Leviticus 6.9 actually tells us the responsibilities of kings and priests. It says, give Aaron and his son this command. These are the regulations for the burnt offering. It says, the burnt offering is to remain on the altar. It are throughout the night till morning and the fire must be kept burning on the altar. So our responsibilities as priests and kings, we are to service the altar. So many of us, we have left the place of power, which is the altar. We have left the place of prayer. So this morning, we're going to pray for God to energize us again so that we can take up our responsibilities as priests in this kingdom. Why not open your mouth this morning and begin to ask for the quickening power in the name of Jesus to quicken us, to take up our responsibilities as kings and as priests indeed in the name of Jesus right now receive the grace this morning to return to the place of power the place of our assignment we have been called to be kings and priests on the earth why not open your mouth this morning and ask for strength that God will quicken us quicken us oh God that we will return to the place of our assignment the place of our responsibility the place of power we ask oh God for the grace to, to service the altar the grace to keep the fire burning the grace to keep the fire burning in the 
name of Jesus, we receive strength in our spirit. We receive strength in our spirit. You know one thing about prayer? Prayer is devotion. It takes consistency to stay in the place of prayer. We receive grace. We receive energy. We receive strength in the name of Jesus. We receive grace for supplication in the name of Jesus. We receive grace to keep the fire burning. We receive grace to keep the fire burning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we receive the spirit of consistency. We receive the spirit of consistency. In the name of Jesus, the grace to remain, the grace to be consistent. In the name of Jesus, we receive grace in the name of Jesus. We receive stamina in the name of Jesus. We receive grace to increase in capacity. In the name of Jesus, we receive grace, oh God, to go deeper, to go higher, to go deeper with you. In the name of Jesus, Malika to celebration of Aladaya Dos. In the Maladeke and the Maladu celebrados. We receive grace, oh God, we receive grace, oh God, for the business of the altar. We receive grace, oh God, that you energize us, Lord, that you quicken us. So God, in the name of Jesus, we receive it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We receive it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Liba kanda baladoshen de balados. In the melody ke tu celebre handa balabala. We receive grace, so God, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. I'm going to read a scripture in Colossians 2 from verse 2 to 3. It says, my goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You know, when you receive Christ, you, you, you actually got the power and the full package. What you make out of it is totally dependent on you. So there's more to Christ that a lot of us are expressing. There are dimensions of glory that we have not even touched because we have chosen to be lazy. So we are going to pray this morning that we receive grace to actually, that we want to put them, the Christ in us under pressure. In the name of Jesus, when it open your mouth and ask that we receive grace, oh God, to put the Christ in us, the power that we have received under pressure. In the name of Jesus, the grace to walk the walk the grace to do that which, you know, Jesus said that men always ought to pray and not to pray. He says the expression of a prayer of the righteous man and much. Let it open your mouth and receive grace this morning. We receive grace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, we need grace. We need grace, oh God, to receive the power of the Spirit of God. We receive grace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We receive grace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We have so God that you will follow us your spirit. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask a fresh outpouring of your spirit upon your people, upon the men, upon the women, upon the boys, upon the girls. In the name of Jesus, let it be, O oh God, that as we begin to walk the walk, as we begin to put the Christ in us, to walk, O oh God, we begin to experience the treasures of your glory, the treasures of your wisdom, the treasures of your knowledge. Let 
of your spirit upon your people, upon your children, in the name of Jesus, that will become men and women of prayer, men and women of power, men and women of God, that will do the work, men of God in men of women, that will indeed put the Christ in us under pressure, in the name of Jesus, we receive grace to move, we receive grace to step out, we receive grace, oh God, to engage in the place of prayer, we receive grace, oh God, that as we receive all this, Lord, you begin to increase our capacity in the name of Jesus. In the we decree and declare, Lord, that you help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Our Father and our Lord, we ask, O oh God, that as your people, that you begin to create burdens. Burdens that you begin to wake us up at all hours to intercede, to pray because the business of the altar is important to you. We ask all this through Christ Jesus our Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. Oloru, Oloru, ti ako e daro. Mute aka Hey, Oloru, ti ako ni munda ni.
nature. Hallelujah. Prophecy has two nature in the Bible. There is foretelling and then there is forth telling. Foretelling is talking about the things that God will do. And forth telling is talking about publishing what God has done. So, in the New Testament, our prophecy is more of forth telling. Meaning, in other words, we are going to be publishing what God has done. So, in the publishing of what God has done, that we that is when we will experience what God has done. Hallelujah. So we are going to be forth telling the things that God has done for us. Glory to God. 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 Amen. You know, in John chapter 3 and verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. He said that whosoever believes. He said whosoever believes. Now if you look at it. God's responsibility is to give his son. It is our responsibility to believe. God will not believe on our behalf. He won't believe on our behalf. Now Jesus in Mark 11 verse 22 and 23. Jesus said have faith in God. He said have faith in God. Have faith in God. Brother, have faith in God. Sister, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Oh, I have faith in God. 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 Now, look at verse 23. Look at verse 23. Verse 23. He said, For assuredly I say to you, Whosoever says, in other words, it is not God's responsibility to say. Glory to God. God will not say on your behalf. God will not say on my behalf. He said, Whosoever say to this mountain, He said, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and does not doubt what, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things. But believe that those things he says will be done. He said he will have whatsoever he says. He will have whatsoever he says. Now let me show you an example. David said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He said, Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. What did he say? I will say of the Lord. Oh, Shabbatasa. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. Oh, come on, TSF. What are we going to say of the Lord? We say of the Lord. He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God. In Him we trust. Our God. Look at next verse. The next verse. He says, surely He shall deliver you us. From the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Next verse, He said, He shall cover you with his wings, and under his wings shall you trust. Oh, Kanda Baskea. Branda Shokabalahante Boradia. You know, God is already this to us. We are going to foretell it, foretell it. He said, I will say of the Lord. See, I said, We will say of the Lord. He is our refuge and our fortress. We will say of the Lord. In this house. The Lord is our refuge. And our fortress. You know. Jesus said have faith in God. In other words. The faith in God is not a silent faith. The faith in God is a speaking faith. Oh Kanda Bahaya. He said I will say of the Lord. Come on. Say of the Lord. What is the Lord to you? I say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. Manteki ira basate. Manteki ira basate. Brundiga. Brundiga. I say of the Lord. Mandekala mandoskiaba. Mandekala bas koredegira. Koredegira. I say of the Lord. Oh Shanda Bahaya. I say of the Lord. Marigidos, Marigidos, Mateguira, Manderebondia. 
He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, my God, my God, my God. In Him I trust. Bente dunga hare, bente hira. Oh, salamade, oh, salamade. Brindiga, brindiga, brindiga. Konda bababaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at David. David in Psalm 27. He says, the Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Oh, I don't know about you. I want to say that over and over again. Come on, come on. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. Oh, the Lord is the strength of my life. Oh, Cambaria Sandia Casobella Hante. Oh, Bradiga Sose. Oh, Brandica Barados. Oh, Sanda Barakira. Brandakira Basante. Branicos. Bradiga Sinda Bahia. Fotsel Abasokedia. On the Riva Hai. On the Riva Hai. Honda Rabayonde. Conda Rabaye. Runda Babaya. Ratabayekas. Oh, Shalabaganda. Shalabaganda. Shalabaganda Bohonga. Ekeba Sande Bahia. Engri Raba. Engri Raba. Brande Koska. Branda Sila. Brandi Sila. Branda Sobaya. Oh, Nabahaya. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, when you first tell like that, sometimes it is good to have expectation in your heart. Your, the expectation is that as I make this confession, these are the resultant effect. For instance, when you say, the Lord is the strength of my life. In other words, I'm going to tell myself that there's no weakness in my body. Oh, Rabashante. I'm going to tell myself, there's no weakness in my emotions. I'm going to tell myself, there's no weakness in my life. There's no weakness in my mind. There's no weakness in my soul. Why? Because the Lord is the strength of my life. You got the picture? Now I want you to look at all of the areas that you have weakness. Come on. You are going to confront them and say, no. The Lord is the strength of my life. Kandaba, come on. Fort Stella, Fort Stella, Fort Stella, Fort Stella. Kondi Bahaya, Kondi Bahaya, Kordigas, Kordigas, Paradigas, 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 Freda Galigo Bandahaya, Pasa Kataba Yagataba, Mandala Baye, Andaba. There's no weakness in my womb. There's no weakness in my bones. There's no weakness in my liver. There's no weakness in my organs. Oh, Sharabahaka. Sandy Bikino. Oh, brother Gasira Gabaya. Oh, Rabababa. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, first telling is actually. Published in what God already said you are. What God already said you say you are. Who oh, the Son says free. Oh, is free. Come on, are you a child of God? Oh, Shanda Babaya. Oh, Rababaya. Yes, I am. In my father's house. Come on. There's a place for me. I'm a child. I'm a child of God. Hey. Yes, I am. Come on, Baba. Hey, Baba. The Lord says free. Oh, it's free. 
forsaken. Come on. I have for you say I. 